Hi Moby family, Claude here and it's been a while since we had a walkthrough video and behind me here you've got the 2023 Moby Nomad Continental which is our flagship model and this particular unit is uh, fairly special apart from the fact that it's my own we also use this a lot for testing and you will see in some of the off-road shots that we've taken this some places where even I got scared but for now let me tell you about the kitchen that you get in the 23 model now, as you can see you get cutlery and crockery for four people you get two pots you get a pan you get a kettle and all the ancillary equipment that go with there now if you watch us on our YouTube you will see on our Facebook you'll see that we've got a master chef competition going so for those of you that enjoy cooking whatever you can dish up with this send us a video and we'll gladly share it with everybody now when it comes to your wash up the wash up is uh, fed by for the new 2024 model will be a 200 liter water tank and then that goes into a combination of two tanks grey water in total of 150 liters this is fairly easy hot and cold water on your taps so there's nothing that you really have to do apart from putting the water on and then once you're done it's as easy as closing it putting it down and there you go ready to to travel above this we have a 18 liter microwave now obviously the microwave do need to have 240 volts so you either use that in, uh, with shore power or if you have an inverter or a generator further to that we've got some nice storage here um, where you can put all kind of knickknacks that's close to your washing um, then we've got two 12 volt uh, merit plugs here and that's for putting lights inside your annex or if you have an extra fridge that you would like to draw some power from and that's your pole holder you know you can hide stuff in there like fishing rods and the poles if you have an annex that you get poles as always we've got our round lights and they work on touch or you can put them on off on the inside and then we've got uh, armored glass windows and midi mesh on the inside and then also canvas so you can black it out now when it comes to your two burner stove it's got a splash top at the back easy enough to operate and that is fed to, through a bayonet at the bottom there and uh, it's easy to go in the 2024 model we will also have a yellow and a white light currently this one is fitted with a white light that you can dim and then also a yellow light that you can dim so that you can keep the, uh, the uninvited friends away from your food so what we have here is a, a barbecue or in South Africa we would like to call it a braai you know that's that little country in the southern tip of Africa that's won more World Cups than any other country in the world that's a fact uh, you can go and check me on that so if you have something like this what's very nice about this you can have a barbecue, a ziggy or any other braai or gas component that you would like at the, at the back of this now you can move this around we've got uh, your toilet cassette which is an 18 liter um, which helps you you know keep keep the stuff where it's supposed to be on this particular model what we also have here what's extra is a, an extended draw bar this unit is also fit with electric brakes because we use it as a test model we had to have a little bit more of payload the standard Moby comes with a 500 kilogram payload. This one can have 900 kilograms of payload. We also chose on this one to have a DO35 towage. The extended drawbar helps us um, positively so that we can put something in the front of it, but negatively it makes the van a little bit longer, which you will see in our off-road videos. It does sometimes tend to get fairly close to the, to the ground when we go through a dip. When you have a long light like this on your Moby, it can either come with a yellow light or it comes with a white light and like all the lights you can put it off on the light or you can put it off on the inside. So on this side of the Moby we've got some storage cabinets now as we all know when you go camping you do need to have a bit of storage especially if you go out in the outback you've got to take some stuff that if the, the unplanned happen that you've got some, uh, some neat necks to help you out. Now first cupboard that we have is this one on this particular unit uh, we have uh, put a diesel heater in so we use this as our uh, diesel tank 
you've got your gas bottle here you can put two gas bottles on top of each other that should keep you for about six weeks then you've got your leveler if you are on un uneven ground you've got a, a cable if you are at the caravan park or you've got a generator and then you've got some tools so you can help the other guys that stuck with the other brands of caravans obviously not the Moby so here you've got quite a few options uh, the first thing is that we've got a, a fairly sturdy um, chassis bracket and that bracket can be used to put a, a bike rack on or an e-bike and then also you can put some boxes on it's just very important to to know that the maximum capacity that you can load on here including the boxes and the bike rack is 80 kilograms now the minute when you start getting to 80 or above 80 kilograms which you're not allowed to you will find that the the front of the moby will start getting a little bit light and you've got to be conscious of packing stuff in the uh, bathroom as well and obviously this is a trademark of our moby <laughs> why we that's exactly why we call it the hotel room on wheels you can't go camping without this to be able to sit in an environment like this at 17 18 degrees in the scorching heat nothing beats that so now we come to our awning annex options that is available on our mobis now like everything we try to accommodate everybody when it comes to camping style and when it comes to choosing an annex awning uh, combination two questions that you need to answer is do you want ease of setup and do you want to keep out flies and those two particular answers will then determine which of our awnings is on your short list now when it comes to awning sizes we are from 2.5 meter by three and a half meter up to seven meters by two and a half meters so you can see from that that we can cater for everybody and in terms of their camping needs let me show you what's at the back so when it comes to what you do over the um, the slide out we also got three options currently it comes standard with a canvas awning that you have to unzip and it hooks in onto your pull out uh, bedroom or you can have this particular one which is a retractable awning it uh, retracts by itself you don't have to do anything you pull the bedroom out you push it in the awning does its own job or you can also have a crank awning that you can put on this side the benefit of that it gives you a lot of shadow uh, so you can also use this side of the Moby to sit when the weather is not suitable on the other side. So when we get into the Moby, the first thing that you will notice is this uh, Miji Mesh screen. And we made that specifically out of Miji Mesh because everything else in the van is Miji. No need to have Miji on the windows and then you allow uh, the unwanted guests to get through the, the door. When it comes to our packing space, uh, as you get into the door, a very nice pl uh, place to put all your pantry. Got a very fairly big packing space here for a couple of days worth. And then if you do wish not to have wine, uh, you can close that up. Uh, not that I think there's anybody in Australia that doesn't want wine, but anyway, you can close that up and make a pantry out of it and maybe have some moonshine and something stronger in there. When we get to this part of the Moby, We've got a 150 liter fridge freezer, an absolutely enormous freezer. And uh, as you can see, everything's nice and solid fr frozen. So you can have some nice um, ice cubes. No need to sit there with a bourbon and not have ice and enjoy the view. Uh, it's absolutely wrong that you go into a beautiful country like this and you can't take your creature comforts with you. When we come to the DB board, um, on this is all your 12 volt and you can see everything is nicely marked that's your 240 volt in this particular van we've also got an inverter and this is where we put the inverter on now when we move around to this side this is where we set our temperature for our hot water system um, so that you can have either nice water in terms of washing or you can have it scorching hot as in 51 degrees this particular unit also has got a battery management system in it so that you can see exactly at the rate at which we are drawing at the moment uh, we can still go 10 hours so the Moby is called uh, hotel room on wheels and uh, as I stand in this uh, bathroom uh, that is why we we call it a uh, hotel room on wheels 
um, you will see that inside here there's a, a lot of space. You can you can shower, you can use a bathroom, you can brush your teeth, and nobody's going to feel claustrophobic or or cluttered inside the bathroom. It's one of our signature marks is the fact that you can have an absolutely fantastic time in your bathroom, the same as what you would have if you go to the Ritz Carlton. Now we also have your toilet, which is a flush toilet with an 18 liter cassette. We've got hot and cold water in our basin. We've got nice uh, cupboard space so that you can put your, your toiletries and stuff in there. And for privacy, we have a door that will close. When it comes to the shower, we've got a microphone shower, which means you can wash your hair or you can shower, you can wash your feet, you can wash your dog, you can wash your husband or wife or a lot of things. You can go wild with your imagination. And the shower is such that you can put it up or down in order to fit the size, uh, the, your, how tall you are. One of the nice features is as well the shower head. You can set that when you want to um, preserve water, you will put it on a smaller so that the volume is a little bit less. Or when you are not worried about preserving water, you can have it at full blast. All right, so now we get to one of our signature marks, and that is the fact that we've got a full island bed. This particular bed is uh, a queen size, and as you can see, we can still walk next to the bed. And also, as you uh, would be able to see, is that we've got 360 degrees of view. So it doesn't matter where you stand in your Moby and where the action is outside, you'll be able to see it all. Then we come to the two Sirocco fans that you see. Also another upgrade to help you move the air in the Moby, which is fairly easy because of our uh, big windows. But you might want to do that when you don't want to start the aircon or you don't have a generator or an inverter. The last but not the least is this absolutely enormous packing space that we have. 210 liters of packing space. You can bring everything. You can bring whatever you think you're going to need and then you can bring some more. So we don't need to, to be able to have to look at whether you want to bring that uh, nice pair of shoes or not. There will be space for it. So when it comes to dining, dining inside, we do know that the weather will not always be good. So for that reason, we've got two dining chairs in here. We've opted on this unit to go for a breakfast bar. You can also have a flip up table. So if you would like to somebody to sleep here, uh, maybe children or uh, a house pet, then you can have the flip up table and you will have a, a lot of space. You can also opt to not have any of that and just have a little bit higher of a chair and then use the top of the kitchen uh, for your dining purposes. This particular van has also got an induction plate in, which is very nice to use if the wind's outside or the weather's not good outside, and then you can just boil your water or make your food on the inside. Now I'm standing 1.85 in my socks, and uh, you can see there's a fair amount of uh, space above my head uh, where I used to have air. Now that's uh, our Moby. Uh, obviously, as you could see, there's a lot of options. You can build the Moby as you wish. We tried not to give you a Moby that has got any equipment on that you're not going to use. So when you get in contact with us, we'll go through all of that, what you want to do uh, over the kitchen, how you want to rig your Moby. Is it going to be a full off-road one like this one? This one we can go and we can stand for, for weeks, depending on, on the water supply. We can stand, stay outside there. We can wait for the interest rates to come down and then only come back but we will build your Moby the way you want it built. So get in contact with us and let's get you in one of these, one of these days.